Okay, well, let's uh, start uh, today's class. Uh, well, we want to welcome Paula and uh, the rest of you are going to receive this uh, class uh, recorded, but uh, I want also to greet you and to our first uh, live online course. <laughs> so let's uh, start right now. Uh, let me just... Okay, we're going to start today with uh, lesson 16. I already sent you uh, some of those uh, the pictures over there. And uh, I would like for us to start today um, with uh, the grammar part. And I think that sometimes we get a, a little bit confused with, uh, with the article, the, the use of, of the article. And um, I think that it's very important for us to know how to use it. We, we know that we have a indefinite article like a or an, right? And, uh, and we're gonna see the, the definite one, which is the. But let's start with the uh, indefinite article a uh, and an. So it says, we use the infinitive article a or an before a singular countable noun. Uh, and Paula and, and uh, friends, you guys know what the countable, do you remember what a countable noun is, Paula? Yeah. yeah. Can you, yeah. you, you give me maybe an example of a countable noun or, or, or what's like the main characteristic of, of the countable noun? The main characteristic of the canto. Countable noun. Mm. Remember we have countable, countable nouns and we have uncountable nouns. Yeah. I don't know. You don't remember like the main characteristic? Example. Yeah, re remember, for example, if I say water, is that countable or is that uncountable? Uncountable. Uncountable, right? And uh, a characteristic of an uncountable noun is that uh, the uncountable noun doesn't have plural, right? For example, mm -hmm. I, 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 I can say, uh, give me two waters, right? <laughs> I mean, I, I, they, they don't have uh, plural. So um, that, that's like the characteristic of the uncountable, right? That they don't have plural. plural. The countable nouns, they, they have plural, right? For example, apple. Is apple countable or uncountable? Countable. <clears throat> Sorry, yes, correct. Because it has plural, right? We can say apples, right? So, so just, uh, just to in introduce you a little bit what a countable and uncountable noun is. So again, so we use the infinitive article RN before a singular countable noun. It is used when we are talking about something in general or when it is mentioned for the first time. So for example, if I say, I saw a man, you see, I saw a man, mm -hmm. right? Outside the bank uh, selling watches. Or in this case, I, ha I say, a pet can be a good companion for the elderly, okay? So um, in this case, I'm using a countable, a singular countable because, well, man, man has plural, right? It was man with me, right? Or, um, or I have pet, right? I, ha I can say pets, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And the uh, in indefinite article is also used for jobs. So it's very important. So for example, I, I can say my aunt is a doctor, okay? So uh, I can say, well, my, uh, my uncle is a lawyer, right? So for, uh, for um, describing a job or to say that that person has or, or belongs to to a certain type of job, then I can also use the article up. Are we clear with this first part? Yeah, yeah, clear. Okay, okay. now let's go here with some other um, parts. And I have here uh, number two says the definite article. We know that the definite is, is using the, or remember we also can pronounce it D, right? Uh -huh. uh, so the or D is used in the following ways. So first of all, when something has been referred to before, or is common knowledge. For example, if I say, I wouldn't buy a watch from the man standing outside the bank. So again, uh, I'm referring to something before, uh, something before uh, the, the action or something that is, is common knowledge, okay? So again, I, would, I wouldn't buy a watch from the man, right? So in, in this case, um, 
I'm just following the uh, the uh, the sentence, right? Because I can also say the man because you can say, well, why I'm not using the, the um, a man if man is singular, right? Well, it's because yeah. uh, since it is already, I is, is already used and I'm referring that action to the man, you know? So it's, it's when something is uh, also like very, uh, um, how can I explain it? Like something very specific, right? Because I'm talking about the man that is what? Standing outside the bank. <laughs> So that's why I'm using the, because if I'm just talking in general, right, I can just say, yes, a man, right, uh, a man just was, was selling candy or whatever, but I'm just talking about that specific man that is standing outside the bank. Uh, okay, okay, for, for example, um, if, I, if I talk about uh, apples, but I want to talk about my apple i can say da for correct example. Or, or or you can for example if you are in a in a, if you're gonna buy some apples and uh you're going you're gonna ask somebody hey can you give me uh well can you, can you give me the apple and maybe you you can even uh point it right the apple I mean, you want that uh -huh. one in, in, in a specific from the rest of them right so uh, okay. yeah, that, that would be the way to use the even though you're using okay. uh, a singular uh, countable, right? The the second part says when there is only one of something, okay. <laughs> I mean, we only have one Earth, uh -huh. so that's why we say the Earth, uh -huh. okay. Oh, there's only one Sydney, right? You know, that's the uh, the capital of, of Australia. So we have uh, the Sydney, right? Opera House. So we we only have that Opera House, which is in Sydney, right? So for example, we can yeah. say the uh, Teatro Nacional, right, of Costa Rica. I mean, there's only mm -hmm. one Teatro Nacional of Costa Rica, so that's why I'm using the, right? Even though, again, even though it's, it's a singular, um, a singular countable, I can still use, uh, I mean, I, 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 I need to use the because there's only one, one of them, right? Is, is that clear? Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay, okay. Good. Then the other way to use the or the is with buildings. For example, if I say, I'm going to the prison to visit a prisoner. So we have here two, the two different options, right? We have, I'm going to the prison, that's the building, right? To visit a prisoner, right? So in this case, we have the two uh, examples. We have the because we're talking about a, a building and we're using a because we're talking about a singular uh, countable, right? Or we okay. can say, he is in, in the office at the moment. So again, we're talking about a building, right? The office. So, um, so again, that's why we can say, yes, uh, uh, they are in the class, right? We, we don't say they are in, in a class because we, since we're talking about a building, then we use the. And many times we, we get confused with that. And I have heard people, even when, when, you, when you guys write or, or, or even when you uh -huh. talk, Sometimes we say that, right? Yeah, he's in in a class, right? Oh, but but if we're talking about a, a specific building, then we can we we must use the, okay? okay. That's why I mean this is very very important. I know that sometimes uh, uh, articles for us can be a little bit easy, but but there's some specific rules that I think that we need to really focus on, okay? Uh, also with the superlatives, we, we already know that, right? And well, that's something, mm -hmm. Paula, that you sometimes remember, I always tell you, if you're going to use a superlative, always use the, the right? <laughs> so for example, the biggest tower in the world or the greatest sports person or the most important question. So what, what, whatever superlative we're using, we, we must use uh, uh, the, right, with that. Also with musical instruments, this is very, very important. So you can say, I play the piano. So you, you cannot say, I play a piano, okay? Uh -huh. wow. okay? So with musical instruments, we use the. I mean, all this is very, very important. I mean, this class is very, very important, I guess, because uh, I think that articles are very common. We always use them, but we don't know how to use them, right? <laughs> so that's something that I think that is very important for us to know. Also, uh, when talking 
specifically about something, right? And that's what I was telling you at the beginning also. So if I say the life of an airline pilot is hard, right? So I'm talking about the specific life of that pilot, right? So um, that's also something that we need to know. Any questions so far? Mm, you you can you can use that with all all buildings. With all buildings, correct? Yeah. Again, the hospital okay. or uh, the airplane. Well, even though the airplane is not like a building, but it's like a place, right? But we can uh -huh. say, uh, no, well, that's why the house, right, or the the bank. And the last and the last sentence, I. You can repeat, please. The last. You mean sentence. this one? The life of an airplane. When talking specific about something, the life uh -huh. of yeah. Yeah. I, I Again, I, and I already I, I talked to you a little bit of that at the beginning. I kind of a. Uh, uh, gave you a detail that was it was after, but that's okay. For example, again, okay. if I want to talk something in a specific, if I want to say, uh, I mean, it's totally different if I if I tell you. Uh, did you buy a present for Diego, for example, right? So I mean, if, if I'm talking, if I'm saying a present for Diego, then it can be whatever present, right? I mean, I'm not talking about a specific gift or present, uh -huh. right? But if I yeah. say, "Hey, Paula, did you buy the? I mean, the present for Diego?" That means that we already know that. We we're talking about a specific present. It can be maybe a, I don't know, a, a pen or whatever, you know. So maybe okay. we have already in talked in about. In it. Yes, go ahead. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> in general, when you when you use da, uh, it's like a, a specific thing, right? Correct. Correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that, that's what it says here when talking specifically about something, right? So that's why I say the life of an airplane, of an airline okay. pilot, right? So we're talking about the specific life of that person, right? So that's, uh, in this case, uh, a way to use it. Are we clear with that? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Now, uh, when there is no article, okay? Let's see how, how this function means, how this works. So it says, with most streets, for, uh, except for the high street, uh, countries, this is very important, okay? So with, with most streets is when uh, the names of, of the streets, right? Uh, like for example, uh, Main Avenue, right? Or, or countries, for example, let me see, okay. We're talking here uh, when there is no article. I mean, when we don't, we there is words that we don't use a uh, or we don't use the. Are we clear, Paula? I, I, I forgot to uh, introduce this part. So again, a little bit. Okay, names or nouns that we don't have to use the or a. Uh. Okay. Are we clear with that? A little bit. For example, again for for uh, most streets. If, if I tell you, yeah, you can go to Main Street, right? Calle Principal, Main Street, uh -huh. right? So with, with the names with names of streets, we don't use the. So for example, I, I, I can say, yes, Paula, you take the Main Street. Do you, do you get it? I, I don't have to uh -huh. use the uh -huh. with the names of, of, of the streets, except for the high street. <laughs> There's a, a street named the High Street, so in that case, I use the. Also okay. for for single mountains, right? Like names of mountains, right? Towns, cities, except for uh, the Hague, the Hague, right? Which is I don't know, is maybe it's a, it's a city, a name of the city, or some uh -huh. lakes. Again, for example, I, I don't say, yeah, I live in the San Jose, right? You don't say that. I well, live in San Jose. I live in okay. San Jose, right? But you don't <clears throat> use the San Jose. Or you don't say the the San Jose is dirty. You, you don't talk that way, right? You, you just uh -huh. say what? San Jose is a dirty city, San right? San Jose is dirty city. Yeah. 
Yeah, but you don't say the San Jose is dirty, right? No, no, so no. So that's why, for uh, again, for names of streets, uh, mountains, towns, or cities, most of them you don't use uh, the. Even even for countries, this is very very interesting. Follow for countries, we don't use a or the. Only, for example, if I say the United States, right? That will be the only or the United Kingdom. And I think with 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 Philippines, you you need to say the Philippines, right? Oh. But again, you you don't okay. say uh, I live in the Costa Rica. You don't say that, right? Well, I live in the no. the the San Parados. No, so. For most of the names of cities or countries, we don't use the or a. Okay, are we clear? Okay, clear. Perfect. Remember, uh, I'm going to re I'm recording this class so that maybe if you want to review it, right, you can you can do it. Okay. Also, oh, when yeah. talking about sports, right, so this is very important. I don't say I play the football, right? You can just you just say I play football, I play hockey, I play basketball, right? So in general. Yeah. Sports in general, we don't use the or a. Okay? okay. Also, when a noun is used generally, okay, for example, life is hard. Uh, if I say, for example, if I'm talking about all the cars of Costa Rica, we can say that, uh, uh, I don't know, if I, if, if I want to compare them with uh, all the cars in the US, I can say mm -hmm. maybe, should I say, the cars in Costa Rica are mostly old, or should I say cars in Costa Rica are mostly old? Cars in Costa Rica are... Correct, because I'm, not, because I'm just talking about a general noun, right? So that's why I'm yeah. not using, like in this example, life is hard, I mean, general life is hard. I'm not talking about the life of the pilot, I'm not talking about your life, no, I'm just talking uh -huh. in general life, right? So that's why I'm not using the life is hard. I'm just saying okay. life is hard. Perfect. Okay. And with illnesses, you know what illnesses are? I don't remember. Uh, enfermedades. Okay. Illnesses. Okay. Enfermedades. So with illnesses, for example, she's off school with chicken pox. You know what chicken pox is? Uh, varicella. Correct. Creo. <laughs> Right, so you know, say she's off school with the chicken pox, okay? Mm -hmm, so, uh, mm -hmm. or with uh, with the cold, you know, with okay. So, for uh, illnesses in the specific, okay. you don't we don't use our the. And uh, the last part, with the expressions, okay, with some uh, expressions, for example, you go to prison if you have been found guilty of a crime, uh, or you go to hospital if you are ill okay so uh, you go it says here you go to the prison or to the hospital to visit someone there or to work okay so uh, in general we're just talking about uh, if you're going to visit the person right or or going to the, the uh, specific place then we use that but for a, a, an expression in general you go to prison right or uh, uh, or you, you go to the hospital if you're ill, right? You, you don't have to use the or or a. Uh. Are we clear okay. with that one or? Yeah, yeah. Okay, other uh, expressions that we have is, uh, for example, other expression which don't, ca don't take an article include uh, to go to bed or to have lunch. Uh, so you, you don't have to say, I'm going to have the lunch, right? No, you say, I'm going to have lunch. Right, or you don't, or you, you don't say, I need to go to the bed. No, you need to, I just go to bed, right? So the, in general expressions, in this case, we don't use the or a. Uh. Are we clear with that? Yeah, but if you use, if you can say, uh, I'm going to, to sleep in the bed. Yeah, good, good question, Paula, yeah, if you, if you want to say, uh, I'm, or you probably you can just say, I'm going to. If you guys are like in a in a camp, right? Okay. Uh, or I know that you 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 go sometimes with. You. I, I know that you have been in some uh, youth camps, right? Like uh -huh. uh, mostly, you know, churches they do that a lot. 
So if you, true. if you go, if you get into that, the cabin and you see different beds, then you can say, well, uh -huh. I'm going to take, uh, well, in this, in that case, uh, this, yeah, oh, I will just say bed. this bed, right? I will, I want this bed because you are pointing, right? But maybe if you're just talking in general, uh, maybe I would like the bed of that magazine, right? Or <laughs> maybe if you're just talking about something. So you maybe if you're pointing the bed is a, a specific bed that you want. Uh huh. Okay? okay. So that would be like like in in general, right? Too. So are we clear with that? Clear. Okay. Perfect. Well. Um, I will just leave some parts of this lesson for you to do it afterwards because I think that uh, uh, maybe we can end up the uh, this class just for the most important parts and then maybe we can end, end the class and you can just do certain exercises and I can just send you the answers so that you can check, right, uh, uh -huh. some some parts of the, okay. the lesson, okay? But um, well, we're going to do this in a minute, later on and also I will send you this audio this one here uh, after we end the class also so that you can also, uh, also do it, okay? Um, okay. What I want is, let's, uh, if you want, let's, I can, let me see. Let's, uh, let's, uh, I thought we had like a, a speaking part. Yes, we have this speaking part. And that's, that's what I want for us to do right now. And uh, hopefully also the, the ones, uh, the other uh, class, the other members of, of our class that are going to lis be listening to this class, uh, you guys can work together with us this part. Um, and we can do it together, Paula. Remember that the, one of the, the speaking parts is one of the parts that I really want for us to practice, right? And, and uh, I know that it's one of your favorite parts, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but uh, let's see what, what, what happens. Uh, did you see it here on the, on the yeah. computer? Yeah. Okay. So, um, well, it says your college is thinking of opening a new rel relaxation area for students. I think we have already done this report, right? Or I don't know. But um, um. probably we have. But let's, let's practice it one more time, okay? So it says there's only a certain amount of money available for the project, okay? So in Paris, we decide which two things will be the most popular to include. In this part, uh, remember that, it, and, well, Paula and, and the rest of the class, remember that in this part, we're going to have two different questions. First of all, we need to talk in general for two minutes on uh, all these part of all, of all these, uh, uh, we can we call it like sections, right? And then we have one minute to answer this one, right? Which is uh, then change, I'm sorry, said so um, yeah decide which two things would be the most popular right that would be the second question and paula i don't know if you remember but in that in that second question what's the best thing to do since, since you only have one minute and they, they they're gonna always tell you for you to uh, talk about the most i mean the two most whatever what's the best thing to do i don't know if you remember what is the question? The question is, for example, uh, in well, the first part, in the first part, in the first part, um, we we talk about uh, all options. Okay, <clears> we talk about all but the in options. the second, uh -huh. Uh -huh, but there... in the second part, uh, we choose two the two best. The best two or whatever, right? Or maybe the last two. We we don't know. Uh -huh. For example, uh -huh. for example, I remember it uh, maybe. We can practice that uh, in another class, but there's one that they tell you, okay, there are different means of, of, of communication, the letter, the email, right? And in the, in the test, they tell you, okay, please tell me which are the less, uh, the less effective, <laughs> right? So, uh, so you say, yes, this one and this okay. one. So remember that my, my recommendation is for you to, in that in that uh, in that minute, for you to choose your two best or your two less right away, right? Because um, remember that sometimes we if you just choose one, 
we're not going to have the time to to uh, to talk about the the two of them, right? Do you remember that mm -hmm. that tip that I gave you? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, but let's let's practice together this one. Uh, I want for us to talk for two minutes uh, for with uh, of all these uh, options, and then we're going to just choose the 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 best. I mean, yeah, the best two. Okay. So, um, do you want to try to do that? One? Are you ready? Uh, no, but. <laughs> <laughs> but let's let's see. Okay. So it, first of all, remember we we need to talk about all these um, relaxation areas, and uh, we we can maybe say yeah we need to we can include these in in, in our uh, for our students because this and this and that one because so on and that one the other okay. And then we have one minute to choose the two of them. So let's just start talking in general for two minutes, okay? So uh, I will tell you when, and then you can start talking, okay? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try. Okay, let's, one, two, three, go. Okay, um, actually, uh, the two things, that will be a, a popular or, or maybe a, a thing in general. I think it's the food, it's a great, great option. I like food. So when I was a student or, or teenager, I like so, so much to eat uh, a delicious food. Uh, also, also when I, when I use, I was, when I used uh, a computer to, so I think it's it's great. It's great that when 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 people they include these things are so relaxing and so great. Well, and uh, also uh, com comfortable seating. I think that's also good because I mean uh, maybe college students are very you know tired and. And they, in that relaxation area, maybe they just want to just sit down and sleep for a while. And so I think that also can be good. And of course, a large screen TV, so that maybe they can just sit comfortably and watch a little bit of TV. I think that can also help them to relax. Also, also uh, the free newspaper and the magazine are so interesting for the students, for uh, the, the life, for the life. In specific for the uh, the students, and I think it's it's up, um what can I say? I think it's is awesome for your your mind uh, when you read a newspaper and magazines. Perfect. Well, okay, now we have one minute to just talk about the best two, so you can start. I think I think in my personal opinion, uh, the comfort comfortable seating and the and the food is the best option for me because uh, when you com combined, I think when you combine that these two options, you can you can see a a great a great solution. For relaxation area, I don't know what you think. You're right. Yeah, yeah. I, I think uh, I agree a little bit with you, but I think that if you include food, uh, that would be a little. You, know, you need to buy food every single day, and I think that can be a little bit expensive for for our college. Mm -hmm. So I, I would just say, in my opinion, of uh, comfortable seating and a large screen TV, because that's only just you know one time that you buy that, and then you don't need to spend any more money, right? So. I think that would be the best thing. Will you spend your your day without food? <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Okay. Well, perfect, perfect, Paula. Yeah, we. Well, you you, I don't know why, but you did better right now here than than in class. <laughs> I'm relaxing. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe yeah, that's why. <laughs> well, that's 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 good. That's good, Paula. Very good. Um, well. Um, for now, I'm just gonna tell you what to do uh, once we we have already done with the uh, the class, right? 
but I would like for you to please, uh, well, do it right oh, now. Oh, okay, once, no, let's once go with you. Can you hear me? Teacher? No. Can you hear me? Teacher, ¿qué está diciendo? <laughs> let's see. Okay, ahí sí, ahí sí. Es que empezó a hablar como robot. Sí, sí, oh, ya, okay. ahí sí. Can you hear me now? <laughs> okay. Okay, Perfect. okay. Yes, uh, what I was uh, telling you is that, um, well, please, once we we are done with the class, please do this part, uh, which is remember uh, that, that you need to try to include these sentences into the paragraphs, remember? Okay, okay so sí. is, this is the first one, and it also includes <laughs> this part here, okay? Over here. Okay. Okay, so uh, once we finish this class, you can do that. And I will be able to, well, I'll send you the answers in a moment. And also, um, also this, this part is very important. I, I send it to you on the WhatsApp group in color. So maybe you can do that one over here. Because what I want over here, Paul, is for you to, it says here, read through this article and decide whether to use a or an, or the, or nothing, okay, in the gaps. Some, some gaps can have more than one answer, okay? So this is very important. I will also send you the answers for that in a moment, but please do it because I really want to know if you really understood what I talked to you about the article, okay? Okay. And also do this one here, okay? I don't know if I, no, I, I, have a, I didn't send you this one. So uh, maybe I can send it to you later on or, or um, just like for homework, okay? Uh, maybe this one, I will send it for homework, so don't worry about this part. And uh, I just also want for you to do an essay, okay? And I okay. already, I sent you this uh, advice part so that you can maybe read it carefully. And remember that in the, the, uh, the essay, they will always give you two different subjects and the third one you need to write it down, right? So I will okay. send you the picture of this part in a moment so that you can also do the essay. And once you finish it, I don't know if you're going to have time tonight to finish it, but uh, if not, please, during the week, send it, you know, uh, hopefully uh, on a picture or whatever so that I can just check it to see how you're doing with this part, okay? Perfect. So, um, will, you, will you send this to... To page. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna send the 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 homework, which is uh, just uh, for you to fill out the the blanks with the or 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 a. But there is a practice already that I sent you regarding using the or a. I don't know if you have it. Have you seen it or? I don't, I don't know. I think I don't know. You you haven't uh, no. seen it. Well, is is this one? I mean, the, the one they already sent you is this one. Here, the one says read through the article. I, I send you this picture. This one here. Okay. And, um, so this is the one that you need to do. Okay. Okay. Finish. Yeah. Yes. Do this one, and also do this part. This part, right? The uh, the one that says uh, remember these paragraphs. Yeah putting them in the right positions here, okay? Mm -hmm. So just, we, we, we start with this part, let's start with this part, then do the, uh, this part of the article, and uh, during the week, try to do the essay, and I'm going to send a picture for the essay, okay? Are we okay, clear? teacher, perfect, okay. absolutely. Well, thank you, Paula, then, uh, uh, Hopefully, uh, more people will be uh, with us next next Wednesday. <laughs> yes, yeah, teacher. Thank you. You're welcome, Paula.